Hey everyone, Rajat here. So in this video, we are going to be learning about how to set up TypeScript for a Node.js project because as you might have known that by now, TypeScript has become an industry standard and a de facto programming language for production scale JavaScript applications. So this is a high time you learn TypeScript and in today's video, I will show you how to set it up. Before I start the video, I have a humble request. If you guys watch this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to this channel because I have been grinding on this YouTube channel for a really long time now, but I haven't reached to a substantial milestone. And due to that, it really becomes really hard for me to produce more such awesome stuff for you guys. So if you guys do like the content I am putting out there, make sure you subscribe to Codelet's YouTube channel and give my videos thumbs up so that I get some sort of positive feedback that people are liking my content and I should be producing more such stuff for you guys. Now let's get back to the business. So we will start by creating a basic JavaScript application and then we will convert that application into a TypeScript project. So here I am in my terminal and I will create a folder and we will call it TS Tut. and inside this thing we will create a new project. So npm init y will do the trick. Okay, so we have got our package.json file and we will open it up in VS Code. And now what we can do, we can create a index.js file and in this file, we can create a function called add and this will simply add two numbers and it can return the addition and we will simply call this function add and then two and three. Now in order to run this program, what we can do, we can open up the terminal and type in node index.js and we will get our answer. So the program is running. What we can also do, we can go into packet.json and from here we can create a script called start and inside this script we will write node index.js js it is the same command that we have issued over here and then we can write npm run start so it will again produce the same output so these are the two ways of running the very same application now let's try to convert this application into a typescript project in order to do so you have to first of all create a typescript config now this config will dictate where your source file will be located and where your output files will be located. So basically TypeScript is a compiler which converts your code written into TypeScript into the equivalent JavaScript which can be readily run on Node.js and browsers. So here we are creating a Node.js based application. So TypeScript will emit the compatible JavaScript code which can be run on Node.js environments. So first of all, let's start by creating that particular configuration file. So you write npx then package typescript tsc init. So this will download the typescript package and from that package will take out the compiler program and that compiler program will create the initial configuration. If you run this, it will ask you to download a file. As you can see here, it is asking me to download this typescript setup. I will press yes and press enter. And as you can see, this TS config has been generated for me. So this TS config will be responsible for instructing the TypeScript compiler about where it should find the code and where it should output the compiled files. So for the time being, we will keep this thing aside and convert this program, this index.js file into the equivalent TypeScript. Now here is the catch. Every valid JavaScript is a valid TypeScript. So we can simply change its extension from JS to TS and it will readily work with TypeScript. Now comes the part about how to compile this TS file into JavaScript file. For that, it is really simple. You have to install the TypeScript package and you have to install it in the dev dependency mode, which means that it will be a development time dependency it will not be a production time dependency so we will use this hyphen d flag or you can also write save dev it is up to you whatever you want to use i am more 
comfortable with the hyphen D because it is shorter or it is just less characters to type that is why I use hyphen D and then you type in TypeScript so by typing this command you will install TypeScript as a dev dependency and you will also get the same TSC compiler that we ran in order to create this tsconfig.json file it is the same compiler but now it has been installed as a dev dependency we will head over to packet.json scroll down we will see that a TypeScript module has been installed as a dev dependency now we can use the TSC program so now what we can do in the script section we will create a new script called build so this will compile our TypeScript program into the valid JavaScript program so we will simply write TSC and that is it this will invoke the TSC compiler or the TypeScript compiler let's quickly run this npm run build now you can name this command whatever you want to this is just an industry convention because we are building from one source to other source that is why we have used build it is an industry convention if you want to change it to something else you can also do that so as you can see that it is now complaining that we do not have any typing information or implicit types have been used so let's go inside this index.ts file and change the typing information from this to number because we are expecting numbers over here and it will produce number as an output right so this will be the TypeScript equivalent of the same program that we had written earlier but now the typing information is there that I will take two numbers and I will output a result that will also be a number so this is what we have done here this is how TypeScript helps you in telling the program that okay I am expecting these sort of inputs and I will be producing these sort of outputs so that TypeScript compiler can check that okay now you have got a problem because you were expecting something but now you are not providing me the input in that particular fashion so this is a gist of how TypeScript helps you in catching bugs so that was a quick detour about TypeScript and now we have codified the typing information we can run the program again but before we do that you might have noticed that it has created the index.js file which means that it had done the compilation it gave me the warning it gave me the error but it still it did the compilation and created the output files if I go inside this file I can see that it has compiled my program and produce the JavaScript code but again that code was not up to the mark so we will build it again so now it has not complained about anything so the program that we got earlier in the index.js file was correct but we had to ensure that we were not getting any sort of warning so this is how TypeScript converts your TypeScript program into the valid JavaScript programs which you can readily run now I can again go ahead npm run and then start and it will run the index.js script so this is a bare bones setup but uh, let's make it more professional so first of all we will go to tsconfig and scroll down here and look for out there and this is the directive which tells the TypeScript compiler where to create the output files so I will simply uncomment this thing and I will write dist so dist is again a convention to denote the distribution files now these distribution files are generated for the architecture that you want to run your applications on so the dist folder is something which is machine dependent that is why we do not commit this folder in the repo itself we just want to keep our generated files in the dist folder if we build this program again we will get this dist folder and inside this dist folder all of our output files will be located now if we want to run the program out of this dist folder we have to go in here and modify the start command to this and let's run the program again and now the answer has been produced so this way you generate all of your output files in a certain folder and generally you do not commit this folder because this folder can be readily compiled or created by running this npm run build command 
for the target machine's architecture. So let's get rid of this index.js because this was just a compiled file. We did not need it. And this was not even a source file. So this was our source file. Okay. If you want, you can also keep uh, all the source files inside the SRC folder, which is again an industry convention. And this is a professional convention like most of the professional setups that you are going to see out there for TypeScript will most probably have a SRC folder which clearly denotes that all the source files are contained in that particular folder. So if you want to do that you simply have to create a SRC folder and move all your files inside this SRC folder. Now again if you run npm run build it will readily detect that your files were located over here and it will again produce the dist folder. So how is it locating all the TS files? TypeScript knows that if it is running out of a directory, all the files might be located in that particular directory only. If you want to change the directory, then you can use this root there command. So this root there command will instruct the TypeScript compiler that all of my TypeScript files are located in one particular folder. So in this particular case, all of our TypeScript files will be located inside the SRC folder. So we can type SRC over here. And then if we run build again, it will readily compile. But let's suppose we have a file located at this level, at the top level. Let's create a file called demo.ts over here. And inside it, let's write console.log demo time. If we run build, you will see that it will complain that not all the files that are TypeScript files are inside this thing. So that is how you can control the location of your files. So I will quickly get rid of these files because these were not needed. I just wanted to make a point that this is how TypeScript compiler works and where you can look for settings. I will undo this setting and we will make one more compilation. Our project is working. Let's do one more thing. Let's import a package import OS from OS. This is coming from Node.js. This is a standard package which comes pre-installed with Node.js. And now what we want to do, we want to print the host name of this uh, system using this. So OS host name. This will print the host name onto the console. But it is complaining as of now that I cannot detect this OS module and its type declaration. So let's see what happens if we try to build this thing. It will complain that I cannot find the type definitions for this OS thing. For this, you have to install the type definitions for node and it is as simple as installing this one package again in the dev mode name is types node. Now this types node package contains all the typing information for the standard node.js API. Now it is not complaining. Now if you try to compile this thing, it will work. Now let's head over to the dist folder and to the index.js file to see what kind of code it has produced for us. Now over here you are getting to see all of this code. We haven't written any of this but still TypeScript has produced this. Now what kind of code TypeScript produces is governed again by a tsconfig variable. If you come here and scroll down to this module thing over here you will see that it is outputting common JS code. Now common JS code is made popular by node.js ecosystem because that is where it is coming from. Now if you do not want to produce the common JS code, if you want to produce the code that is compatible with ES modules, you can simply change it to ES next and then run the npm run build command and the code will change accordingly. Now it hasn't created that verbose code that we were seeing earlier because now it will only run on the systems where ES next is supported as we have specified here. Now it hasn't produce any extra fluff in the code because this code will only run on the architectures where ES next is supported. Just keep in mind that this may reduce the number of platforms your program can run on because not every platform is going to support ES next because there might be some legacy systems which might be running on common JS and they might be using some older versions of node. 
on that particular pieces of hardware this code won't run because es next might not be supported on there just keep that thing in mind this is why the typescript team has made available all of these configurations by using common js we were making sure that most of our code will run on most of the hardware out there by using the latest and the greatest of options we ensure that we do not end up producing a lot of extra fluff which we would not require because we are using modern systems anyway so we would not require all of that polyfilling or all of that extra or legacy code now let's quickly create a git ignore file so as to ensure that we are not going to commit the dist folder by accident and inside this thing we will simply do this and node modules so this will ensure that we are not going to end up committing these two files so with that we have reached to the conclusion of this video we have set up typescript and this is how the professional teams work with typescript if you have any doubt make sure you join my discord group where you can ask your doubts or you can leave a comment on this video as well i will make sure that i will try to answer your queries to the best of my knowledge having said that make sure you give this video a thumbs up because i get a lot of motivation when you guys give me any sort of positive feedback it really boosts up my enthusiasm to produce more such stuff and if i do not get any sort of engagement on my videos again it becomes very tiresome for me to produce such awesome stuff for you guys so in case you guys want to see more such stuff make sure you give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to codelets youtube channel take care bye